Hi and welcome to Darth Ozzy Star Wars Collector's Corner. I'm Darth Ozzy. And I'm his apprentice. And today, what are we going to look at? The Battle Wagon. That's it, right here. The Ewok Battle Wagon from 1985. It's a Kenner. Beautiful piece of equipment. And we'll be back in a sec. You're really looking at it, aren't you? Welcome back. Today, we're going to look at this beautiful thing. But before we get started, what are we going to do? You've got to like and subscribe. That's right. And hit the notifications bell because every new subscription... I get one dollar. That's right. And he needs the money. And if you don't subscribe, Darth Vader will come after you. <laughs> well, let's have a look at this machine anyway. What we've got here is the Kenner 1985 Ewok Battle Wagon. It is seen in episode 10 of the Ewoks TV series, the cartoon TV series from 1985. And it's, um, it's a beautiful piece of equipment. According to Mark Belomo, who wrote the book on uh, Star Wars vintage collection stuff, this is a very hard to find piece on the secondhand market in perfect condition and with all the bits and accoutrements that Especially go with it. Especially the impossible to find Hook. Yeah, we'll get to the hook in a minute. Um, so what we've got here is a battle wagon that has a couple of different features. It's also a play set of sorts. All right. So let's go through it a little bit of detail and we'll talk about what it's got. So what's the first thing you noticed about this? The big skull yep. and this big Right. Lamp okay. So let's, let's go through a couple of those things already. First thing you mentioned is the skull. Now, obviously, we don't know what animal that is. It could be something on the forest moon of Endor. What I did notice with this, and it's something worth mentioning because this particular um, unit is made out of a very nice type of plastic. There are other things that were released around the same time that were out of a more brittle plastic, but this is a very forgiving plastic. It's got a bit of a bend in it. What I did notice, though, is that these tusks that are on here are actually rubberized so they do bend quite a lot and they're a lot like the um, ends of the star fighters that um, Kenner and uh, sorry Hasbro released um, a few years back that have the rubberized point on them so that you can jab them into things without them breaking so the tusks are very similar to that they have the same sort of thing second thing you talked about was the door that comes down at the front. Now, how the do you ramp. release that, the ramp? So there's this little winder up here, yep. and it's got the string on it, and you just let it go, and then it gets to the end. And right. It's... So this is the thing that allows all of the Ewoks to run out of the front of the battle wagon when they're attacking something. But that is as far as it goes. Yeah, well, you could, you know, be um, still able to jump out the front if you're an True, Ewok. True, because not there is a the huge hole. Yep. Now, given that it's a battle wagon, what else have you noticed? A huge moving, like, yep. ram. That's right. That's a battering ram. So that's used for pushing into and knocking over ATSTs. According to the book, that is exactly what they do in the cartoon. Um, and they knock over the uh, ATSTs by ramming this into the legs of them. So you have the Ewok it standing like at the back pushing It looks like it's made from a drum. Yeah. The front of it looks it's like It's almost drum. like the drum, isn't it, that's on the um, Ewok playset, the treehouse playset, yeah. All right, um, what else have we got in here? This elevator. Right, let's turn that around and have a look at that. So we've got a cage that is attached by a rope so that you can wind, wind it, up. it up. Again, one of the winders, so that when the wagon is moving along, you've got the cage with the prisoners in it. The other thing is, though, that with this cage, that is I the controlling. This, the cage, you can open it up, you can put your figures in there, but it's also got the handles on it so the Ewoks can carry it on their shoulders back to camp. All right. Mm. So it's a rather flimsy little cage, but like on the treehouse playset, they can do the same thing. They don't have the bar to put underneath no. it to carry it, but they do, they can put it straight on their shoulders and they can walk back to camp with that. And the impossible to find hook. Yes, that if, is. Basically, if you're ever buying one second hand, you're probably not gonna have this small wooden hook. 
Yep. Well, it's plastic, but it plastic, looks wooden. Plastic, but yep. it looks wooden. Yeah, it is one of the harder to find pieces that um, apparently a lot of secondhand battle wagons just don't have. That, the strings, um, the front on the ram, the, the tusks, obviously, and even the, um, uh, the piece on the top. Now, the, tusk the beauty is of it is... plastic. Yeah, it's like rubberized plastic, isn't it? If we flip this over and have a look underneath, you can see there are two holes what? under the bottom. See these? Two holes? Yep. What's that for? They're for the Ewoks to jump down and push so that they can push the wagon along. Because obviously there's oh, no motor. Oh, yeah. So they've got to be able to drive it sort of Fred Flintstone style. True. All right? <laughs> and, uh, yeah, crossover there, Flintstones. So another thing that's hard to find is the ladder, which is just here. Uh, allowing the Ewoks to climb up to the top to and operate everything. Up there. Yep. And of course, the wheels all turn so that you can roll it along. Um, so then it can They've got move. the little axles and hubcaps. Something else. Yep. This can turn into a, like a fort. That's right. So it's like a little playset. So if we take off the side panels, take that one off. Take yep. the side panels off. And then you can use them to join up and create your own little fort. So, Like that? Yep. And have your prisoners in there and your Ewoks standing in here. Fighting. And the Ewoks can actually be fighting through, you know, with their bows and arrows and spears and things. Now we'll just Fighting anyone back. that comes. So that's basically the whole setup. What we might do is pop these back on. So we don't lose them. Yes. So then it still is complete. And put this complete. back in. And then Popular, put we're going to populate it, are we? In it. Yeah. So, in order to do that, we need to do what? Force. You're going to use the force, are you? How yeah. about you do a finger click? Oh. Uh. And there it is. Wow. So, we've now put a few Ewoks in. Whoa, and we've there's got, the Dulox. We've got the Dulox around the front. So, we've got King Gornish and Lady Gornish and a Dulox um, as well. The warrior, yep. And in the cartoon, of course, these were the enemies yes. of the Ewoks. And the Dulocks would go in the yeah. cage. So you would end up with a Duloc inside a cage and the Ewoks catching them. Um, and I don't know, did they eat them? Did they just torture them? Who knows? They're Ewoks. Yeah. Maybe they don't do anything They used like that. Stormtrooper helmets as drums. That's right. So, <laughs> so they obviously... Uh, eat people because they had the mm. rotisserie. And also, how did they get Leia's clothes? Oh, uh, look, we're not going there. All right. Anyway, so what would you give this out of 10? What do you what do you think it's worth out of 10 as a playset? For now, it would probably be still around the 10. Really? Look at the plastic. I know. The plastic not... is amazing. And what, I would say... What's amazing about the plastic, though? It's flexible, but yeah. not easy to snap. Yeah. And it's just got so much character to it. The detail of the, the detail wood, the and paneling. The character yeah. of it. Like, if I ever saw just, like, a ram and this helmet, like, this skull, I would know where it's from. Yeah. Well, it's so recognisable. Little kids do like a skull. Yep. True. <laughs> All right, so we're going with a 10. Yes. Okay, even today it stands up. Yep, beautiful. All right, there we go. That's the Ewok Battle Wagon, Kenner uh, Ewok Battle Wagon from 1985, and uh, with all of its accoutrements yep. in it. Um, a very detailed and hard to find piece on the secondhand market. We mm -hmm. don't actually have the box for it, unfortunately, but um, this unit just by itself is a beautiful display item. Um, lovely thing to have as part of your collection. Now, what do we need to tell people about our affiliate? They need to go to Goodies Toys yep. and buy something. Yeah. And if it's over a hundred dollars, well, ninety nine, ninety nine yeah. hundred, same price. Um, it will have free postage. Where? In Australia. Of course, only in Australia. Yes. Yep. So goodiestoys.com.au. He's our affiliate, and he's got a big range of vintage collection stuff as well as the Black mm -hmm. Series. So. Don't forget to look at us on Instagram, Instagram as well. That's where you'll find us as well. And we put up some beautiful photos sometimes of these sorts of things. We also put up pictures to tell you that we've posted a new video. Correct. So, so follow us. So if you're us. watching us on Instagram, you can then go over to mm. YouTube and watch the video. So follow us on Instagram for 
to see if there's any new videos. Yep, all right. And don't forget, he gets a dollar for every new subscription. All right, that's it for us today. So what do we need to say? We need to sign off. Yeah, and say, see you later. Bye. Bye.